In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to install the in-wall low voltage cable installation kit. This product helps to beautify your home by allowing you to place low voltage television cables within the wall. The kit is not intended to be used with power cables. In order to satisfy the requirements of the National Electrical Code, the television, sound bar, or any other equipment must be connected to a receptacle. The kit includes two grommets, two faceplates, two air-free memory foam inserts, a fish tape, and a hole saw. Tools needed for the installation include a stud finder, a level, a pencil, a tape measure, and a Phillips screwdriver or a drill with a Phillips bit. Locate the studs within the wall in the vicinity of the television. The boxes need to be spaced at least two and a half inches away from any stud. Mark the nearby studs. Most studs are on 16 inch centers. Occasionally, depending on the construction of the house, other studs may be present. It's better to know where they all are before beginning the installation. You also need to have a receptacle nearby. You may want to place your bottom box such that it is level with the receptacle. Measure and mark the wall accordingly. Place another mark on the wall that is at least two and a half inches from the nearest stud to make sure the box installs easily. Now transfer that mark up the wall to a location behind the television. Although not shown here, it is a good idea to mark the bottom of the television on the wall. Place a faceplate on the wall and make sure that your top mark is well above the bottom of the television so that the faceplate does not show after installation. Start by aligning the pilot drill of the hole saw with one of the center marks. Make sure that the drill axis is perpendicular with the wall surface and that the saw teeth contact the drywall evenly. Don't drill too fast and don't push very hard. Remove the drywall core from the hole saw. Cut the second hole. To assemble the fish tape, align the ends and push them together until they snap. Repeat for each section. Place the fish tape into the bottom hole. Push the fish tape up until it reaches the top hole. If there is insulation in the wall, try to bias it against the back of the drywall sheet. Once the fish tape has appeared at the top hole, hook the low voltage cords to the fish tape and pull them down through the bottom hole. Each grommet has two clamps and a gasket to seal against the drywall. Pull the low voltage cord from the back to the front. Insert the grommet into the hole with the screws aligned horizontally from each other. Tighten the screws until they're snug. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. Repeat this process for the other grommet. The air-free memory foam inserts help to insulate your home. Each insert contains a slot for placement of the low voltage cords. Place the memory foam insert over the cords and push it into the grommet. Take care to insert it as evenly as possible and make sure there are no air gaps. Repeat this step for the other grommet. Push the low voltage cords through the rubber membrane in the faceplate from back to front. Align the faceplate to the grommet with the slot oriented horizontally. Push until all four snaps engage with the grommet. Repeat this step for the other grommet. You can now connect the low voltage cords to the TV and video equipment. You're all done! The Titan 3 in-wall low voltage cable installation kit provides an easy solution to help make any television installation look finished.